Zengo is a mobile wallet that simplifies the crypto experience. It's not just any wallet, it is designed for everyone, whether or not you're a complete beginner or a seasoned trader. With its innovative security features, Zengo allows you to buy, sell, trade and invest in cryptocurrency without all the different technical complexities. Boasting over a million users worldwide, Zengo is celebrated for its simplicity, offering a seamless setup process that requires no private key management, a feature that sets it apart from traditional wallets. So with their keyless entry, you can say goodbye to the fear of losing your private keys. Zengo's cutting-edge technology ensures that you're always in control of your assets. In terms of supported assets, you can manage a diverse portfolio of cryptocurrencies all in one place, with over 120 crypto assets supported, including the most popular cryptos like Bitcoin and Ethereum. With Zengo, you can grow your investments with their earning opportunities directly through the app. And you can unlock even more security features with Zengo's premium subscription service. So whether you're looking to make your first cryptocurrency purchase or you simply want a more secure and straightforward way to manage your digital assets, Zengo has you covered. And we'll take a look now at how you can get started, navigate the app and make the most out of your Zengo wallet. So let's jump in. Zengo is available as a mobile app to download via the App Store or Google Play. To start the download, click the link in the video description below. For the purposes of today's tutorial, I'm using Zengo on an iPhone and I've got the premium subscription, but I'm going to explain the differences between the two as we go along. You'll then be prompted to enter in your email address. However, there is no KYC or identity checks to start using the wallet. And you can then secure your account with Face ID. Next, you're prompted to try Pro for free. And it will then ask how you'd like to get started, either by buying crypto, depositing crypto, exploring the app or upgrading. We're going to start by exploring the app. And we then reach the Home tab, which you can see highlighted in gold at the bottom of the screen. But before we start taking a look or buying or depositing any crypto into our wallet, let's secure it, as you never know, it could be worth millions one day. As you can see, we're only on security level one at the moment, so let's upgrade our security. The first thing that we need to do is create a recovery kit so that if you switch devices, you can restore your wallet without having to use private keys. Just be aware here that Zengo will need to connect to your iCloud drive. If you don't have that switched on, it will then give you some instructions and take you through the appropriate screens. You then need to create an encrypted 3D face scan, and this is to identify you. But as they say here, this is anonymous. And you just need to allow the camera and just make sure that your face is evenly lit and that you remove any hats or glasses. Once your face lock is verified, you'll then be able to test your face lock. The recovery file will then be created and uploaded to your iCloud drive was your need if, for example, you do switch devices. But just note that the file by itself is useless. So even if a hacker was able to access this file, they won't be able to do anything with it on its own. And this takes away from all the hassle of writing down and storing private keys. So it just helps to simplify things. And there's further ways that you can secure your account, such as backing up your 3D face lock, syncing your recovery file and adding secondary emails, etc. But for now, let's just continue and see what else we can do with the wallet. So back to the Home tab now. And at the top of the screen over on the left, you can see that I'm on the Pro plan, but you may see Essential written here instead. And it then explains the benefits of the Pro plan with their advanced security and exclusive features. In the middle of the screen, I can then see I'm in my main wallet. To the right of that, I can then use the scanning icon to connect my wallet to Web3 apps, which I'm going to show you a little bit later or I can also connect to their live support, where the response time is just under five minutes. Underneath that, we then have a background image, which we'll look at customizing later, as well as our overall balance. And you'll see that we're currently on the tokens tab at the top, but if we then press onto the NFTs, you can see here that we can then safely store our NFTs here instead. Pressing back on tokens, Underneath the balance and security progress is where we would then have our list of cryptos and individual balances if we had any crypto in here. As this is a brand new wallet, we don't yet have any. And there's options to either buy crypto or receive it. Now, if you don't already have any crypto to start with, you can buy it directly from within Zengo with a credit card, bank transfer or Apple Pay. And you can simply choose the crypto you'd like to buy. In this example, I'll just select Bitcoin. They then use popular third-party providers to provide the service. And these will differ depending on your location. 
For me, I've got the choice of either MoonPay or Transac. And as you can see with Pro, I have discounted fees of up to 50% applied, which is incredibly useful as buying crypto in this way can work out to be pretty expensive. And you will find it cheaper to buy crypto over an exchange like Binance or Coinbase and then store it over here in your Zengo wallet. But it is a convenient way that you can buy crypto right here within the wallet. To continue with your purchase, you then just continue with your chosen provider. Then you'd enter the amount of crypto that you want to buy in your currency. And it'll let you know how much crypto that you're going to get for that amount underneath. If you continue here, you'll then need to sign into MoonPay to check out and continue with this purchase, which I'm not going to go ahead with now, as I've already purchased some crypto over on Coinbase, and I'd like to safely store that here within my Zengo wallet. To send crypto to your wallet, the first thing you're going to need to know is your wallet address for the specific type of crypto you want to send. To find your wallet address, choose Receive from the centre of the screen. If I want to send Bitcoin to my wallet, I'll need my Bitcoin wallet address to send my Bitcoin to. So here is where you'll find all the different cryptocurrencies that are supported by Zengo, and there's a wide range here. In this example though, I want to send Bitcoin from my Coinbase wallet to this wallet. And it's important that if you are sending Bitcoin, that you have selected Bitcoin from the list. If you're sending Ethereum, you'll need to select Ethereum from the list. And this is really important, as with cryptocurrencies, transactions are non-retractable, so if you make a mistake, you do risk losing your crypto. When you select Bitcoin, you'll then be shown your wallet address for Bitcoin. And you can copy that to the clipboard by pressing on the copy icon to the right. Or you can also scan a QR code using a mobile device. Underneath, we then have the option to generate a new wallet address after every completed transaction. And it shows your balances for this specific crypto, as well as the market price and some charts. Let's send our crypto to this address now. So as I said, I'm sending from Coinbase, but a similar process will apply from anywhere that you're sending from. So if I head across to my Coinbase app now and choose Send, select Bitcoin and paste in the wallet address from the clipboard. I then enter the amount that I'd like to send, which in this example is going to be $100, and then Preview. And as you can see, it'll take about 30 minutes. Now, if you are sending for the first time and you're feeling a little bit nervous, it may be worth sending a smaller test amount first before you send across all your crypto. And I'm just going to fast forward about 30 minutes now so that I can show you that within our wallet. So once your crypto arrives, your wallet balance will obviously increase and the crypto that we've sent will then appear in within our wallet. And it will show the amount on the right in GBP and in Bitcoin. Plus, it also shows me Bitcoin's current price too. When we press on Bitcoin, it then takes us back to the screen earlier where we got the wallet address from. But it now shows the updated balance, the market price and the charts. So I'm currently holding Bitcoin, but what if I'd like to swap that for another crypto? Well, let's choose swap. And here we already have Bitcoin selected in the You Send dropdown. And underneath is a You Get dropdown. And we can then select what we'd like to swap to. And there's a large range of different crypto options that you can select from. And you can then enter the amount that you'd like to swap from. And I'm going to enter £50 in here. And the conversion will then appear underneath. When we continue, it shows us a preview of our swap, letting us know what we're going to be swapping from and to. Plus, it shows any network fees that apply. Now, for any transaction to take place on the blockchain, a network fee will incur, and that's paid to the miners. For this, this is £1.80, which is quite high, and you will find converting crypto on an exchange does come with lower fees. But you then need to send it across back over to your wallet, which will then cost you another network fee, so you do need to weigh this up. When you're happy, you can go ahead and swap from the bottom of the screen and it'll use your face ID to confirm that it's you. Now swaps usually take between five and 30 minutes and they'll notify you once that's complete. So we're gonna fast forward some time again now. Well, you'll see my Tezos are now appearing as well as my Bitcoin. And again, I can press on Tezo and it'll bring up my balance and wallet address. When I choose the actions icon, it comes up with some different options. So we've looked at how to buy, how to receive, we're going to look at send shortly, but next what I'd like us to do is take a look at how to earn with staking. And in this way we can earn some interest from our crypto, similar to a savings account. 
With Tezo, after an initial 36-day period, you'll receive reward payments every few days and your funds will never leave the safety of your Zengo wallet either. You can see that your XTZ currently earns a variable rate of 5.33%, but these rates will obviously change. And there's also other rates available for different cryptocurrencies. So if I just head back to home and then earn, here you'll see that I can also earn 4.30% APY with Ethereum too. When I press on that, you'll see some information in relation to this specific staking. And it's important to read these as well as the risk before you continue. But in this example, I've got Tezos, which I'm going to stake. So at the bottom, you'll see the network fee that you're going to need to pay for this staking transaction. When you activate, you'll now see that my XTZ are now earning rewards. And you'll find any earnings will start to accumulate will appear under your Tezo page. And then if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the earn a lifetime earnings section. Let's head back to home. So now that we've got some crypto in a wallet, what I'd also like to show you that there are some quick actions for your individual cryptos, which you could reach by swiping to the left or the right of them. When you swipe left, you'll reach your wallet address for that specific crypto, which you can then scan or copy. When you swipe right, you then have the action to send. So if you want to send your crypto to another wallet, an exchange or a crypto platform, you can then reach it from here. Or if we head back down to that main gold actions button from the bottom center, there's then the option to send from here too. And you'll need to select the crypto that you want to send. In this example, I'll choose Bitcoin. Then enter the amount that you'd like to send or you can choose max and continue. You'll then need the address of where you're sending your crypto to. And this might be a receive, deposit or wallet address, which you can then paste in here. And just make sure that you are sending to the exact same address that you've copied and pasted. You'll then receive a warning just to make sure that you're being safe and not involved in any kind of scam as transactions can't be cancelled once they've been confirmed. Then once you've confirmed that you understand, you can review your transaction, showing you how much you're sending, where you're sending to, and again that network fee that's being paid to the miners. When you're happy, you can send and you'll use your face ID again to confirm the transaction. And your Bitcoin will then be on its way. If we head to our history tab now from the bottom of the screen, here you're gonna find a list of any transactions that you've carried out in your wallet. So you can see the Bitcoin that we've received, our swap between the Bitcoin trade sent and then the Tezos that we received, and also the Bitcoin that's currently being sent. Where we can view the status here is pending, and it shows some further details in here too, as well as ways that you can stop or speed up that payment. So that's how we withdraw our crypto or send it. Next, let's take a look at how to sell your crypto, which you can select from the main action button in the middle center. Then choose sell. And this is a way that you can exchange your crypto for local currency using their recommended providers. And you can choose to swap it to a stable coin or to your local currency. When I choose stable coin, It'll then take me to the swap screen where I can trade my crypto. Or if I choose one of their providers, which will again vary depending on your location, you'll then be prompted to enter the amount that you'd like to sell and effectively cash out. And then follow the prompts shown by that provider. And there will be processing fees, minimum amounts and network fees to take into account. But this is a straightforward way to cash out of your crypto. Then the final option under the actions button is to connect. This is a way to access popular Web3 apps using Zengo and Wallet Connect. So if you want to connect to dApps like Uniswap, for example, you'd head to their site, choose to connect, and then Wallet Connect, and scan the code. And your wallet will then automatically connect to the app with any available balances then mirroring your wallet. Under the Settings tab at the bottom of the screen, we can then view our account type i.e. whether or not it's pro or essential. So here we have advanced security, which we can set up. This option is great and allows you to pass on your crypto safely to someone that you trust. There's theft protection, where you can prevent unauthorized withdrawals by adding the 3D face lock verification. And you can then set the amount that you'd like this to apply to. Plus you can set up and change backgrounds. And back to your settings is where you can also see connected apps. Personalize some settings such as your local currency and language 
and there's also ways that you can learn about crypto on their podcast. But that completes how you can get started with the Zengo wallet. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides.